In this video, we're going to check out the 1.2 firmware for the Deluge. This time, we're going to check out the keyboard layouts. There's two new keyboard layouts. First one is Chord Keyboards, and the other is called Chord Library. First, we have to enable it, so press Shift and push the Select knob. Turn to Community Features, and enable Chord Keyboards. Now let's exit. Now we're in Grid View, and this is my Synth. So let's enter into the Synth. Hold down the pad, press Clip. So let's enable the keyboard, hold down the keyboard button, and turn the select knob until you see chord. So this is the keyboard layout. There's two different modes. That's the chord column mode, and this is the chord row mode. On the column mode, this mode arranges harmonically similar chords vertically. So can move up and down the scales here. Let's just press this. You can see C major. So chords as it goes up have a different feeling of that same chord. Let's switch columns. Now it's D minor. Next we're going to switch to row mode. And here we can see these are chords, and here we have different intervals. This is still in development, so the intervals chosen for each row aren't final and might change in the future. You can also switch modes by holding shift and turning left to right. So now let's play around here. Let's just press play. We're going to hear a drum beat. And then I'm just going to press the pads. Now let's enter into the synth here and go to Arpeggiator. Let's enable it. Now I can press these and they play through and I can choose a chord. I can change different things on here, but I think I'm just going to keep it as is and back out. Let's switch to columns. Let's see what happens here. So let's say I like some of these, but I want to add them to the chord memory. If you hold the top pad right here, and you turn left and right, 
we can choose different modes. Now what we're going to do is choose song chord memory. And we can also have clip chord memory. So the song one, you can share the chords. So let's just pick a chord here. And now just press the pad. Now it's programmed into it. So I don't ever have to try to find that chord. There it is. Let's do higher. So I just filled up the entire row here. Now I can press play. Now let's switch over. Hold down keyboard and we're gonna turn to chord library. So let's disable the arpeggiator for a minute and back out. So we can see here, we just have single notes on the very bottom. And then it starts going to major chords, minor chords, and so on. You can clear out these chords, hold down shift. Now they're all gone. Let's go in the arpeggiator, enable it, and back out. Now let's play around with this. <laughs> 